Hey. July 4th, 2014. On this Independence Day, I had a little bit of freedom to uh, do what I like to do most, is get out in the woods. And we've had a lot of rain here in the central part of Michigan in the last week. And I'm hoping to take this opportunity and find my first chanterelles. And I invite you to come along. So, follow me. One of the things that I have done to increase my odds of finding chanterelles today is pick the time or the season that they grow in. I found them around this time last year. I found them in the same forest. And the secret behind this forest is I'm surrounded by a lot of oak trees. And these, I believe, are white oak trees. I have some leaves here. There's a smaller one. What we know about the, uh, about the chanterelle is that it is a terrestri terrestrial mushroom, uh, first of all. So you're not going to find it growing on dead wood um, or on the sides of trees. Where you're going to find it is growing on the ground. It grows on the ground because it's connected to these kinds of trees, these oaks, in what's called a mycorrhizal relationship. It's a symbiotic relationship where the tree is helping the mushroom and the mushroom is helping the tree. So I've increased my odds by looking at an area where there's an abundance of these trees. I'm starting to find some. And this is the reason why um, not only do these things taste amazing, uh, but this is the other reason. I've spent hours and hours looking for morels and other kinds of mushrooms. Morels tend to blend into the environment. When you start finding chanterelles... You can see how easy it becomes. They just kind of, here's a small one here, nice gold and yellowish color. And then look at this. I'm not even looking very hard. I was just kind of strolling along the trail. And I look off, I looked over to the side here and springing out of the forest understory, all these golden, delicious chanterelles. See how easy it is to see these? So my plan is to just kind of look around this area a little a little more, and then I'm gonna take uh, and harvest some of these and get some up close shots for you. So this worked out this worked out well. What I've in the same area where I was finding the chanterelles, I found a few other other kinds of mushrooms here, uh, like this rushula. And what you can what can be seen with this particular mushroom, although this is a kind of a poor example, is that this has gills. See the gills? Here's another gilled mushroom. Not quite for sure. We're going to call this thing an LBM, little brown mushroom. Maybe a canosopy? I don't know. But the point is, you can see the gills on this mushroom as well. Gills. Gills connected to the cap. When you look at a chanterelle, these are not gills. Those are ridges that run down or that are decurrent. They run down the stem or stipe of the mushroom. Just looked under two trees here. I think I'm going to need a bigger basket. Once again, look at how these Mushrooms just spring out of the forest understory with that color. Beautiful.
you. What a beauty. What a beauty. I've got several recipes I found last year I really, really like. One of them is a simple pickling. I've made these, uh, I've pickled them and put them on sandwiches or garnished dishes with them. They're absolutely amazing. Um, I have, and you'll probably hear me say this again, I absolutely love, there's a brandy and cream uh, sauce recipe that I absolutely cannot get enough of that is truly amazing. All right here. There's gold in the woods. Let's get out there and find it. There is gold. And then there woods.